Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey, thank you so much for stopping by. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing my January Shop My Stash. So if you wanna see the items I pick, then just keep on watching. Before I do that though, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. All right, let's hop into this really quick with just a review of the makeup I pulled in my Shop My Stash. I don't know how much is in these drawers um, cause I have a lot of project pan items in here, but there are a couple. So these are all project pans, but I did pull out this CoverGirl True Plum blush in, uh, True Plum, as I said, and I used this a few times and I really, really like this blush. It was great to pull it out. I also pulled out this Milk Makeup Highlight. This is in the shade Lit. And this is a great highlight. This was in my top makeup items of 2020 video that just went live. And then in here, um, I think this is all Project Pan except for this concealer, my Tarte Tart Shape Tape, which is one of my favorite concealers. Still is. I know a lot of people hate it, but I love it. Um, and then the Bare Minerals Prime Time. I'm going to keep this in. There's probably mm, maybe a week or two weeks worth of uses in here. I only use this on my nose and my pores on my cheeks, so a little of this does go quite a long way. And then the Fenty Matchstick in Amber. I'm still keeping that around because I still have my contour in my, pro er, in my roulette pan collab. As for lip products, um, I always keep my four Lisa Aldridge uh, items out in here. Um, my Kosas lip oil is just out. I also have eyeliner that I didn't wash off yet on my wrist but yeah my Kosas lip oil I always I'm, I'm just keeping that and focusing on that right now but I did, oops, I did pull out these two ColourPop lip glosses from the Raw Beauty Christie collection um I like this one a lot more than this one just texture wise but these are both really nice glosses I do like this formula um I pulled out Pulled out my two Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks in Truffle and Campfire. Both of these are great. I will be pulling these out. Um, we have the shade Bikini Bottoms. We have the shade Bikini Bottoms from ColourPop in the Sophia Nygaard collection. Uh, I used this a few times and it is a great lipstick. We have Mrs. Norris that I did pull out in my Shop My Stash, but it's sticking around because I threw it in my Roulette Pan collab. Um for just, you know, until January 15th. And then I had two lippy sticks. I had Ziggy and Trust Me. Ziggy is a great color. And then Trust Me, I actually never got around to using, so I am going to keep it in this rotation. And then in this drawer, I still had a few Shop My Stash items. Um, so, not this. This blush, I actually never got around to using, but I am going to put it away. This is the CoverGirl Warm Honey Blush. We have the Nabla, oh, we have the Nabla Skin Glazing in Ozone and the Skin Bronzing in Amber. These are really great, as well as the Tower 28 um, Bronzino in West Coast. And then I also pulled out my Moon Prism Blush Palette. From Lunar Beauty and this is fantastic. And then the Raw Beauty Christie palette um, is the only palette I had pulled out and this is just a great eyeshadow palette to have. So I'm going to put these items away and then we're going to go into the shopping my stash portion. Okay so we're going to have a lot of new makeup pulled out. So let's start with the base drawer. Um... I recently had two foundations come into my life, and it's these two. So this is the Flower Get Real Serum Foundation and the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation. Um, so I'm going to pull actually both of these out just to use them more. This one's a lot like the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, um, and it's really great. This one's also really great as well. Just want to keep testing these out. And then as for concealer, I want to pull out my... Uh, e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. I would like to pan it in 2021, so I'm just gonna start it out with a bang. Primers. I am going to pull out my Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. Haven't used this in a while. Just want to pull it out to kind of supplement the um, Bare Minerals Silicone Primer that I have out. 
And then as for powder, oh, I did have the Fenty, I already put it away, the Fenty loose powder in my shop stash, which is my favorite powder of all time. And this month, I'm going to pull out my Tarte Shape Tape setting powder. Just a really great setting powder, just kind of rotating through those. No rhyme or reason. <laughs> and then, can you see this drawer? Let me... So, highlights, blush, and bronzers. As you can see, this drawer is getting a little full. <laughs> Um, so first up, I'm going to pull out my two Muse, oops, my two Muse Beauty products. I have the color Wash and the color Sheen, um, and I just want to use these more. I did a first impressions that I will link up in the cards, um, if you are interested in checking that out. Just want to test these out more. And then, what else? Oh, I do know I want to pull this out. This is the Estate Cosmetics do me highlighter in pearl just haven't used this in a while and i was thinking about it the other day so i want to pull that out let's pull out another blush oh this i got this for christmas i hope it's not reflecting too much this is the patrick ta um blush duo and do we know her i've used this one th once and it's lovely so we're gonna be pulling her out and then as for bronzer, I'm going to reach for, actually, I'm going to reach for this. This is my uh, lip bar uh, blush and bronzer duo in Travel Bug. So there's a shimmery bronzer and a shimmery blush. It, I know it looks really shimmery, but it's actually per really pretty. So I'm going to pull this out. Okay, so for lip gloss, what do I want to pull out? I think I'm going to pull out, again, my Muse Beauty lip gloss. This is in the shade Cezanne, so I'm going to pull that out as well as I think I'm going to go for just the original Fenty. Well, this isn't the original Fenty gloss bomb. This is in the shade Fussy, but just kind of a good go-to lip gloss for me, the Fenty gloss bomb. As for lipstick shades, um, let's see, what do I want to go with? want to go with this liquid lipstick from Colourpop in the shade Yes Is More. And then the shade Lucky Strike from Colourpop. And Let's go with the shade Phoebe from the Makeup Revolutions and Friends collection. I think that's all I want to pull out for lipsticks. Yeah. Mm. Let's pull out. Let's pull out the Monica lipstick too as well. This is actually a really nice formula. And that's about it for that drawer. Okay, so I picked five eyeshadow palettes that I am going to pull out. First up, I chose the Menagerie Feral palette. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I really like it, just wanna get more use on it. I do still have a bunch of eyeshadows that I haven't used yet from Black Friday, like a bunch of single shadows. So um, I was kind of thinking about different palettes I could pull in for mattes. Um, and things like that to kind of complement them. Then I pulled out the Urban Decay Naked Honey just because I love this palette and I've been craving kind of these warm yellow golden -y tones so I thought this would be a great one to pull out. And then I have three kind of new palettes. I got this for Christmas for my brother. This is the Melt Smoke Sessions palette. I haven't used it yet so um, I think it's going to I don't know if that'll go up before this video or not, but tomorrow I'm going to film a get ready with me using this. So and then once again, I have some newer items that I bought around Black Friday that I just want to get more use out of. So we have the Muse Beauty Impressionism palette. I've used this once in a get ready with me. I'll link it in the cards as well. Um, so far, really great first impressions on this palette. I've only used it once though, so I want to use it more. And then the other Muse Beauty palette that I haven't quite used yet, the Van Gogh palette. Um, just want to get some use on this. And with that being said, that is my shop, my stash for January. I'm excited to keep doing these. I love doing these videos. I love watching these videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.